QuantumScape, a company in the electric vehicle battery industry, has announced a significant milestone. They've begun shipping their Alpha 2 prototype to automotive customers. This prototype, called Alpha 2, marks a major step forward in their goal to develop high-performance batteries for electric vehicles. The Alpha 2 prototype packs in advanced features, such as high-loading cathodes and a proprietary flex-frame cell design, making it one of the most efficient options available. By sending these prototypes to customers, QuantumScape aims to gather crucial feedback on performance metrics, which will help them refine their design and manufacturing processes for future iterations. Hello and thank you for joining us. Before we delve further, we kindly ask you to support us by liking this video, subscribing and activating notifications to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, sharing is caring. But why is this important for EVs? Well, when it comes to electric vehicles, two main factors stand out. Energy density and power density. Energy density refers to how much energy a battery can store in a given space, while power density measures how quickly that energy can be delivered. QuantumScape's goal with their planned commercial product, QC5, is to achieve an energy density of over 800 watt-hours per litre, along with fast charging capabilities and high discharge rates. Their Alpha 2 prototype represents a significant advancement towards this goal, boasting a power density of over 5,000 watts per litre. This means that their batteries could potentially deliver over 1,000 horsepower, a remarkable feat in the EV industry. Additionally, QuantumScape's solid-state battery technology operates with much lower applied pressure compared to other solid-state batteries, making it more practical for integration into electric vehicles. Fast charging is another crucial aspect of next-generation batteries, and QuantumScape has been making impressive strides in this area. Their Alpha 2 prototypes have demonstrated the ability to charge from 10 to 80% in just 15 minutes, which is comparable to half the time it takes for current long-range EVs to charge. This not only boosts confidence in the performance of their batteries, but also addresses range anxiety among consumers and provides automakers with more flexibility in designing EVs with varying battery pack sizes. QuantumScape share were up 1.1% on Friday. The company traded as high as $5.84 and last traded at $5.64. Approximately 1,971,667 shares changed hands during midday trading, a decline of 78% from the average daily volume of 9,130,758 shares. The stock had previously closed at $5.58. Several equities research analysts have recently issued reports on QS shares. Robert W. Baird raised their price target on shares of QuantumScape from $5 to $8 and gave the stock a neutral rating in a research note on Thursday, February 15th. UBS Group lowered their target price on QuantumScape from $9 to $5 and set a neutral rating on the stock in a research note on Thursday, April 25th. Finally, Truist Financial cut their price target on QuantumScape from $8 to $6 and set a hold rating for the company in a research note on Monday, April 22nd. Three analysts have rated the stock with a sell rating, five have issued a hold rating, and one has issued a buy rating to the company. 
According to MarketBeat, QuantumScape has an average rating of a hold and a consensus target price of $6.09. The business has a 50-day moving average of $5.84 and a 200-day moving average of $6.40. The company has a debt-to-equity ratio of 0.03, a quick ratio of 18.98, and a current ratio of 10.38. The company has a market capitalization of $2.83 billion, a P.E. ratio of minus 5.88 and a beta of 4.74. QuantumScape last announced its quarterly earnings results on Wednesday, February 14th. The company reported 23 cents earnings per share for the quarter, missing analysts' consensus estimates of 19 cents by 4 cents. During the same period in the previous year, the firm earned 25 cents, EPS. On average, sell-side analysts predict that QuantumScape will post minus 0.95 EPS for the current fiscal year. During the last five days, there has been a surge of approximately 9.41%. Over the course of the year, QuantumScape shares have dropped approximately minus 19.71%. Shares of the company reached a 52-week high of $10.03 on 1st of April 2024 and a 52-week low of $4.92 on 4th of April 2024. A 50-day SMA is recorded $5.84, while a 200-day SMA reached $6.76. Nevertheless, trading volume fell to 4.3 million shares from 6.3. 3 million shares the previous day. To be clear, QuantumScape's battery is not solid throughout. The key to the technology is an anode-free manufacturing process in which the cell is fabricated in a discharged state. The anode assembles itself during its first charging cycle. The anode is paired with a proprietary ceramic separator, which accounts for the solid end of things. The cathode gets a different treatment. It is paired with its own catholite in the form of an organic liquid electrolyte. A quantumscape makes the case that it is difficult to engineer a single material suitable for both the anode and the cathode, and that a liquid catholite is better suited for the voltage and transport requirements of the cathode. The latest news from QuantumScape involves the Alpha 2 prototype version of its forthcoming QSE5 battery for electric vehicles. The prototype sequence began back in 2022 when QuantumScape shipped its 24-layer A0 prototypes to its customers for testing. Skipping ahead to Alpha 2, QuantumScape reduced the number of layers to 6 while increasing the energy density factor to provide its customers with an additional testing opportunity before moving on to the next phase. This, the higher energy density, is primarily due to higher loading cathodes, that is, packed with more active material, and more efficient packaging that optimizes the materials and space within the cell, QuantumScape explained in a press statement. QuantumScape lists tighter internal margins, thinner current collectors, and a slimmer design among the packaging improvements. The point of the Alpha 2 exercise is to enable QuantumScape's customers to put the new battery through a laboratory testing regimen aimed at providing feedback on performance and reliability. QuantumScape is already looking ahead to the next step in the prototype sequence labelled QUSE 5 b 0 that concludes today's discussion.
Please remember to like, comment and share this content with fellow enthusiasts and relevant forums. Thank you, and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our next episode.